Rebecca from Shares Creative Cuisine and today we'll be doing an easy Christmas breakfast. It's not so it's not heavy at all. So there will be space for all the Christmas dinner you will be having later on. So today I'm making an eggnog French toast with sorrel jam with an eggnog cream cheese icing topped with any any fruits of your choice, but today I'm going to use grapes and banana. So I normally do the sorrel jam first. So I add the sorrel juice. Normally add sugar. Mix. Just mix a little till all the sugar dissolves. Jam is supposed to be sweet, so you know you can't make it too fresh. And the sorrel juice itself is not so sweet on its own. So I just add a, a lot of sugar, like a cup of sugar, to make it have that extra sweetness. So after that's dissolved, I normally let it come to a boil first and then add cornstarch. You add cornstarch based on how thick you want it. I like it very thick to be like a thick paste, like regular jam to go on bread. So I normally add in intervals to see really how thick it's going to be. And then I let it stay and cold. Or just let it stay and get thick up more because when you when you let it stay kind of sleep up so I like that consistency the sleep up consistency because it's nearly to jam so now that it's boiling you add the cornstarch you just add a little tip of water with the cornstarch because you don't want it to be too runny you want a kind of thickish so you mix it out make sure it's all mixed out And as I said before, you add cornstarch to your liking to hold it thick, how you want it. And as I said, I like it thick, very, very thick. So then you add in cornstarch. It's going to change the color, don't worry. It's going to give it a clearer red, like whitish. So you see how that's thick? Yeah, so I normally whisk it. Because when you whisk it, all the little particles dissolve. Out. So you whisk it just to make sure all the particles are out. You see that thickness? So now that it's thick to so how I want it, look at it. You, you see that? You see that jammy thing it has about it? This is how I want it. Thick and hard has, has a jammy thing. Yes. So this is the perfect consistency that I love. My preference. So if you like it lighter, fine. Who am I to judge? So the sorrel jam is prepared and left aside to cool. Now I'm going to prepare the French toast, eggnog French toast. So. I normally, instead of milk, you normally use milk, I use eggnog for that base. So eggnog, your regular sugar, brown sugar, not white sugar, brown sugar, nutmeg, cinnamon, eggs. That's something I remember the name at the moment. Salt, a little pinch of salt, vanilla, yes vanilla. And you mix everything in the bowl, then you add the bread. Let it stay for like 
a couple of seconds on each side and then you put it in the pan. So I'm going to add them now. So I'm adding all the ingredients in. I like a lot of cinnamon in my French toast. Gives it a nice color. So growing up for me, Christmas is always a anticipated time, if I should call it that, for me. I love the gifts and the food. You know, family meeting up and all of that. Oh, sorry, I made a mess. How bad of me. Anyways, you know, family meeting up and all of that, it's always nice to see cousins you haven't seen in a long while. And as I said, the food. I'm going to add a little bit more sugar. So I've always loved Christmas as a kid growing up. You mix all of these. Better to use a whisk. So I'm whisking everything. Everything to combine very careful. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, if you're not a fan of eggs, you don't have to use eggs. You just use the eggnog and all everything else and leave out the eggs. You don't have to. So, talking about Christmas now. Yeah, I've always loved Christmas time. Who doesn't love Christmas time, right? So this dish just kinds of bring me back. Even though we didn't make it back then. <laughs> you know, growing up. People don't know about French toast and they some way. But you know, nobody is cooking. So I mix out everything. There's always going to be like cinnamon floating, so you're not going to get that out. So don't worry when you see these floating around. It gives the bread color too, as well. A very nice brownish color. So that's it. So now that everything is finished, you normally I add butter. Butter pot, and then add the bread. You just let it stay till it's golden brown each side. And it's better to use stale bread. I know stale bread, but yes, it's better to use stale bread. It soaks the liquid and everything better than the fresh bread. But if you don't have stale bread, you can use the fresh bread. No problem. So add the butter. Melt almost everything. Medium heat. Add the bread. Go a little. Mix up again. Bread. Mm -hmm. yeah. So add the bread. I'm gonna make sure it's all coated. You turn the next side. You see that brown color thing? Yes. This is why you don't worry about the cinnamon floating at the top and the nutmeg. This gives it this pretty color. Okay, take it off. Take off the excess. Then add it to the top. So you just let it stay like this for a while, less than a minute, so you don't want it to have a black look. You want to have a golden brown look. You can also check. Check to see if it gives you some color. Yeah, so I'm now letting the other side get golden brown. And you know something? This can be used for a dessert as well, you know, a Christmas dessert. I was just thinking, all right, French toast. You just add ice cream. Perfect. Simple. So you can use it for breakfast and use it for dessert. So you have some eggnog ice cream, eggnog flavored ice cream or some vanilla. You just do the French toast, add the ice cream on top, boom, it's a dessert. So it can be used both ways. So I toast it for less than a minute. You see how that color is on both sides? That's the color you're aiming for. 
on each side. Nice and soft and I don't know why I don't want to come out the pot. Right. So you know, Christmas time, what I really remember, you know, growing up in Christmas, you know, everybody for talk the truth. You know, mommy I buy everything new, new sheet, everybody new. Yeah, clothes, everything. I don't know why, but everybody want Christmas. Probably the Christmas feeling there. To have new things. So it's like a tradition because I do the same thing. Christmas, I have sheet and I want new sheet Christmas time. I don't know why, but I grow up come see it, so I just follow the trend. I know I'm going to add a little butter in. Sometimes I know the butter dry out. I'm going to add some more. You know, a little bit. You know, you want to be really nice, you know. Butter makes everything nice. So now I'm going to make the eggnog cream cheese icing to go on the French toast. So it's cream cheese. It might look a little bit different because I use the strawberry cream cheese. Just for a little bit different flavor, but if not, you can just use the regular white cream cheese. They have they have some a lot of flavors now, blueberry, all of that. So I use the strawberry because strawberry goes good with eggnog and banana and so forth. So you have the cream cheese, powdered sugar, vanilla, and eggnog. So I'm going to add the eggnog to the cream cheese. You don't want to add a lot because you want it to have a thick consistency so you like you mash it out like that okay. you don't want it to be too runny you add a little of the you know, add this first. You add a little of the powdered sugar in it don't be afraid to add powdered sugar can't be too sweet You add a little vanilla, just a little flavoring, and you can just whisk together till you get the consistency you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I mix it to see how best I want it. So, seems as if I can add a more, a little bit more eggnog to it. So I'm just going to add a little bit more eggnog. Now we're finished and we're going to do the plating. So we have the eggnog cream cheese, the sorrel jam, perfectly done. Perfect. You see that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The sorrel jam. This is powdered sugar. I put some of the cream cheese in this. It's easier to plate. To drizzle the French toast with it. With it. Normally, I mix up the fruits that I'm going to use on top of the French toast in the jam. So I have the jam right here. I'm just going to put some of the fruits in it and mix it up. All right, so you know you want the sorrel taste. You can't leave out the sorrel even though you do the eggnog. And you just mix it up like that. See that pretty? Yeah. So you can use any fruits like uh, strawberry would be great too blueberries and all of that so you get it well coat up good that's it so i'm not going to cut i normally cut the bread first so i cut my bread in four to give it a nice little different style. Alright. Butter each side with the jam. Look at that. Yeah. 
You don't have to be too mean with the jam, okay? Alright. Perfect. You want some shorter sides too. Alright. Yes, I'm, I'm just slicing all the breads in four to finish the plating. So as I was saying, this is really an easy meal. Very, very easy. And if you're a breakfast lover like me, perfect. Who doesn't like French toast? It's bread. And as we said in as we said earlier, it can also be for dessert. So you just add some ice cream on top of that and voila you can even leave over some of the bread that he used in the morning and then use the rest for later for dessert So I added the banana and the grapes in the sorrel jam and I added the, the eggnog cream cheese icing all over it and just a little tip of powdered sugar over it, you know, just to give it a little classy look. And now I'm going to add the whipped cream on top. So you just need a little bit, not much, right on top. Then I'm going to taste. So, I'm going to taste right now. Get this part with a bit more with cream. I want the jam to eat. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -mm. Wait right there. But you know, it's nice. Mm -mm. Me not, me can't find a word for, 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 for tell this. Delicious, soft, succulent. Mm -mm. Mm. This is delicious, as you can see, but. You can also see the recipe and I also made a sorrel glazed salmon in the Gleena cookbook and the Observer cookbook so look out for that and you need to look out for it because you need this recipe you need it for Christmas thank you true 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 you need it mm -hmm. and you can also contact me Shirts Creative Cuisine on Instagram you can DM me you can call me at 853-1403. 853-1403. You can also email me at lindsaysharika.com. If you want the nice food, you have to, you have to email the nice chef. <laughs> Merry Christmas everyone and a happy new COVID. No, how should I say that? A happy new year or a happy COVID new year when it comes.